what is up guys I'm trying to keep the car out of out of it but guys came in really early this morning detailed it up because we've got some really really sweet stuff happening so the car is done you're gonna see it in just a second technically it's gonna be 12 hours for me before we film the reveal of this car um, but then we're gonna shoot for super street so I'm gonna give you just a just just a quick little glimpse of something here that's that's all you're gonna see for the next like 30 seconds but it's been a pleasure to build it um, it's been awesome to work with Matt the owner on this thing but we'll talk about um, the kind of uh, influence that we took with this car why it's done this way and how we designed it um, but this car is absolutely insane here it is guys I've spent so much time working on this car. Hope you love it. doesn't want to be on camera guys so um, I wanted to talk about the design and kind of why we went this direction I'll throw up a picture on uh, on the video here of kind of a reference that we took some design from there's an Advan car uh, and we kind of took some of the references from like a CalSonic car and the old Nismo liveries that you see back in the 90s um, where they actually used like one solid color vinyl but what we did um, instead of doing that we wanted to bring it into this kind of era so what we did is we actually stacked vinyl so everywhere you see this this is not a printed vinyl this is actually a white vinyl a gray vinyl and a teal vinyl so everything's stacked um so when you guys see me uh you know in the build series before uh in the previous video talking about this it is it is definitely a time consuming thing all the uh pen stripes are laid by hand on all of the different uh, things there we've got a pinstripe on the hood here just kind of exact accentuate that but um, that was our, our design reference and I'm sure that you guys can see kind of where we were going with this but um, Matt just had a brilliant idea to take this car and kind of pay homage to that genre um, and that era of car um, but kind of bring it into this uh, this time period a little more so I'm I'm blown away by this car, the way it turned out. Uh, Matt loves it too. He just doesn't want to be on camera because he's being shy. He's right back there. But uh, I love it. It turned out perfect. Um, the vision that we designed is really cool too because I have, I have these, uh, I have a screenshot that I'll have to send uh, to put on this video too. But of the design, when I designed this whole livery, um, and then to see it, you know, on the car in real depth, it's just, it's really cool. Obviously the banner isn't on there and then the hood really isn't on there, but um, the hood stripes are actually a thing that we added later. Um, this is like the last bit of vinyl work that we did on the car. There was just, we needed something. So originally I just had these pinstripes and then the Rocket Bunny logo, which is actually three layers of vinyl as well. It's hard to see, but you've got purple white and teal it just looks like a purple and teal on there like with a pinstripe around it but um i sent a sent a couple of pictures to matt and i was like matt we need something on the hood and he's like he's like what about this what about that and i was like hold on i got an idea and i taped it out for him and sent him a picture and he was like i love it do it so really cool um this car is 
just it's just cool so cool as always guys like comment subscribe um, we've got plenty of more build series coming we just started one the other day uh, we've got a, a Datsun 240Z that's getting an RB26 swap so you're gonna want to stay around for that one um, this car is amazing thanks Matt for letting me build it up oh, he was on camera and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's been a pleasure to build it so thank you guys like comment subscribe I already said that see you next time